Hi everybody, so you know by now that Visual Studio 2019 has been released. And so uh, I'm going to be releasing a new set of videos using 2019. We're also going to be looking at machine learning technologies and how we can do that with Visual Studio and with other languages like Python as well and other development environments. So to get started, what we want to do first is get Visual Studio installed for those tools and technologies and mainly that's web development, some desktop development and also the machine learning pieces that we might want. So um, you can go and search for Visual Studio 2019 community and then this will take you to the main Visual Studio site and on this pull down menu pick community now you can do professional or enterprise, you'll have to pay for those. Uh, there's a trial version of these that will run for a certain amount of time and then you'll have to pay. Uh, the community edition is free and uh, it's for individual developers, academic users, and open source as it says. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. And I'm not going to do any sign up just yet. And once it downloads the network installer, I'm going to go ahead and just select open on that. And give it permissions to install. This is on, um, this is Visuals, uh, Visual Studio 2019 Community installing on Windows 10 Professional. And I'm actually running this on Parallels on a Mac. But you'd have the same experience if you were running um, just on a normal desktop with Windows 10 installed natively. So um, I'm going to be pausing the video here as we go through some different parts, but I want to basically show you first how to um, set up for the development that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing ASP.NET and web development. We're going to be doing Python development, which is going to get our machine learning tools that we need. Um, desktop I might, have, I might want to be building some desktop applications in .NET. And uh, then if you want to do universal Windows platform, you can select that. Or C++ or Node or Azure. And there's other options down here as well. But these are the ones that I'm going to focus on with these three. And then as we go, if we run into a situation where we need other ones, I'll show you how to update the installer. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit install and it's going to take a long time, basically, well, a long time based on your network speed to install everything. And um, so I'll pause the video and then come back at any point where there might be a prompt or something. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. and start that. I'll take the survey just yet. So I picked the install while downloading option so it's going to be installing on the machine at the same time that it's doing downloads and again this this may take a while to get through this so I'll pause and come back. Okay so we're 100% downloaded and about 50% done installing and so Obviously this installation goes a little faster if you're not selecting as many options, but if you need those options later, you can always go back and install. So I'll be back in just a minute when this is done. Alright, so it's finished installing. Uh, it says finishing up here, but it's showing 100%. It's marked as start after installation, so it's going to launch here in just a moment. And as you can see, we're launching Visual Studio 2019. Now the, the installer is still running here. And you can modify your options for this installation by just hitting the Modify button here. And it will bring up all of those different options that we saw when we first set things up, which will allow you to add other features. For example, if you want to do mobile development or game development, Windows Universal, whichever it is. So over here, we have um, 
Visual Studio launching. And, um, you can sign in here or skip this for now. And it'll ask you which thing you want to start with, which theme. Let's pick the default for now. Sorry, I'm doing two things at the same time. So Visual Studio is launching at the same time we brought up the options. And you can see these three options are what we selected and what's installed. You can uninstall by unchecking these and then just um, press the button. Or again, there's other options here you can pick. So I'm going to close the Visual Studio installer because we're done with that. This may take a few minutes, as it says, so I'll come back here in just a moment. So here we are. This is the new starting point for Visual Studio 2019. And in subsequent videos, we'll go over the different options here and how we go ahead and start creating projects. So I hope this has been useful. Please watch for new videos coming out around Visual Studio 2019, doing REST development, doing... Um, some machine learning development with Python. And um, so I hope to see you there and uh, thanks for watching.